In Cape Town, the contestants gather to be briefed by the judges on their new challenge. It's amazing being a part of the top 11. Very excited for the new challenge. I can't wait to hear what the brief is. One week has gone by and I'm still in and I'm ready for the next challenge. Now it's time to put my big girl pants on. I'm pleased with the fact that I survived elimination last week and I'm happy with the fact that the judges have given me another chance so I'm hoping to prove them right. Hello contestants! Hi. <laughs> Ready to get back to business. Yeah. Mm, it's gonna be good. Each week you've been given tasks in order to test you but also in order to educate you. So I hope you're taking all that knowledge because who knows which company is watching who might be interested in you. This week's challenge is one that any aspiring young marketer will need to master. An influencer-led social media campaign. You will have to keep up or you will get kicked out. These challenges are getting tougher and tougher and I love that they're challenging us and stretching us. We're going to split you guys into two teams. We're going to have ladies as the one team and then the gentlemen as the other team. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Really? Boys versus girls? Let's do this. Girl power. But we're only four boys. How is this going to work? Is it going to be seven against four? But it gets interesting. Ladies, my ladies, you guys are going to have to choose someone from your team, not from Johannesburg, to join the gentlemen's team. All right, so I want you guys to group up in your two teams. And my girls, you guys are going to have to figure it out. This is really awkward because nobody wants to say, I want to leave, or nobody wants to say, let me stay. Firstly, no one wants to nominate themselves, and I'm not putting my head on the chopping block. Who actually wants to go? Initially, no one minds joining the guys, but now it's becoming a whole thing of everyone wants to go. I say, let's do it out. Vote, guys. Vote. Let's not single anyone out. Let's yeah, just, okay. let's yeah. vote. So we decide to vote someone off our team and everyone writes a name down and we'll see who gets the most votes. I'm definitely voting Zanika because that girl, oh, so much drama to me. Put it in here. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Cool. Ladies, really? Do you really have to run a ballot for this? Are we on an island? Are there torches about to be put out? What is happening? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. First name, Tenille. Please not anyone but Tenille. But I would actually love to work with her. I want that energy. I'm sure we can channel it the right way. Next is Zneka. Hmm, interesting. Mm. And now it's Nash. It's Tenille. Once again, Nash. To Tenille, to Nash. Ah, Zuniga. So two Zuniga, two Nash, two Tanil. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Zuniga. Niga yourself. <laughs> wow, I don't know what this means. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. The girls don't want to work with me, but I'm okay working with the boys. I'm really okay. Uh uh, another dragon. Let her, minus one problem, we're good. Oh, that was very interesting. The challenge has not even begun and we already have a tribal council. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time for you guys to get ready because your client is waiting and I must tell you, this client likes to mix things up. And it's going to be interesting this time around because the client is going to choose the winning campaign, not us. The judges don't have a say. The client will be the one literally determining who will be winning and who will be going home. Well, that's how it is in the real world. The client decides. I think it's going to be quite nice because the work will just speak for itself. And that's a nice twist. So good luck, contestants. You are going to need it. I think we're in a good place. We're confident and it's a strong group of people. I'm so, so excited. I feel like this is a whole new adventure on its own. The judges haven't really told us what the challenge is about. We don't know who the client is this week, so I'm hoping it's something interesting, but let's see. I'm excited to get to the client's brief. I can't wait to see what we're going to do this week. So we walk into a kitchen. Why are we in the kitchen? Welcome, guys. Hi. I'm sure you're all wondering what we're doing in the kitchen this morning. <laughs> I'm Shannon Oman, the managing director of Marlboro Brands. Your challenge for this week 
will be to create an influencer-led social media campaign that brings to life Nutribullet's smart innovation technology. You'll have to do three things. Conceptualize the social media campaign, source and effectively make use of an influencer in the fitness, health and food nutrition sector. You'll be expected to create video and photographic content with the influencer. You'll be assigned a professional photographer and graphic designer who will help you put together all these elements. This brief is just so relevant. I'm so glad that we're doing things that are happening in the marketing space. Influencer marketing is huge. So excited to work on this brief. Okay guys, let's get stuck into what the Nutribullet Balance is all about. You need to understand that this is a Bluetooth enabled device that works with your handheld device or tablet as you can see. Okay, so for this morning, we're going to prepare a ginger pineapple energy blast. So we're starting off with some spinach. Got our quota. Right. Brilliant. As you can see, it advances to the next ingredient and it's asking for half a banana. The blender is really cool. It can connect to your Bluetooth. I've never seen that. It works with your phone. It tracks your nutrition. I'm just all about it. It now shows me how many calories, how much protein, how much fat, fiber. It tracks what we've made today. It'll track what you make for seven days rolling. Can I have a taste of those smoothies? Because they look really yummy. The smart technology is very easy and simple to use. So translating that into videos and stills will be pretty easy. What I would find most challenging is having six creatives trying to create one creative idea bound to be some fires in the kitchen. I'm really hoping that we smash the stereotypes that girls can't work together. So guys, I'm just gonna do a little brief overview of the brief, cool. and yeah. then I think pick out some keywords for yourself and then let's get chatting. Yeah. Yeah. They are very, very strong personalities within the team, and I'm just afraid that there'll be a power struggle that occurs. But imagine that type of concept where everything in your world can be crazy and upside down. Wow. But you you're, 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 you're you're balance balance. Balance. Yeah. the only thing in balance. I'm a little worried that my team is a bit like, yes ma'am, and not challenging one another's ideas. I think the biggest thing that we're going to need to decide is the influencer element. I have an idea. How about Angelique Friedrichs? She has like a huge following okay. mm -hmm. and she's part of the Nadia Jafta group. So what, when we get her, we get like major influencers as part of her yeah. because they share her content as well. The first thing we do, we go around the table and people are pointing out names of people they know that they've seen online that are showing this type of lifestyle. And already Angelique Fredericks is someone that everyone is starting to agree that could be a really strong contender. So after the brief, I have to dash off. So I can't join the team going back home. Not gonna be long, I'll be back. I'm not back in the house with the boys because I have other things that I need to attend to. So it looks like we're two men down. Which isn't really a problem. I suggest we create a WhatsApp group and then you okay. will just tell everyone Sorry, what's okay. happening on WhatsApp. Where is everyone? We are three people. There's a lot of work to be done. I think that's what's important now is that getting a concept so we can align that influencer mm -hmm to the concept. Mm, so that it actually makes sense even for the mm, influencer. Yes, exactly. Does anyone have an actual influencer in mind? Choosing an influencer is a little stressful because none of us actually have someone initially. So now we're going through social media, we're trying to find out what options we have. We want someone who focuses both on nutrition and fitness, not one more than the other. So we have two options yeah, right so now. It's between Candace and Amy at the moment. But one thing we do have to get today and decide on is an influencer. Is an influencer. So, and a concept to and a concept. narrate okay. to the influencer yes. tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because we're such a big group, I think everyone has different ideas. So I think it's important to just find out what everyone's strengths are and then moving from that. Guys, I think that Sherry could literally I agree. lead us as our project leader. I agree. Yeah. No, I oh, think we're all on the same you. page. Thank yeah. you. I definitely support Chad Adele as being a leader. That girl is goals. I'm very happy with it and I'm very confident being a leader. My approach to this week is to have a lot of structure but still give each individual space to be creative and be themselves. Okay guys, so what's our game plan in getting our, our influencer? I'm emailing her manager, Brandon. Okay, so if we don't get Angelique, what is our backup plan? Guys, realistically, mm -hmm. this is the end of the day almost and yeah. we yeah. don't have contact with our influencer. What will we do if she doesn't reply to our email? Panicking, 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 the queen panics. 
our star influencer is nowhere to be found. So we decided on Candace. Like We've decided on Candace. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, yeah. okay. okay, I got Candace's number. Okay, can okay. please just awesome. contact her okay. and find out if she's available? Okay, let's give her a call. Hello, Candace. Candace is our first choice. We contact her, she's on board. This was smooth. Okay, 100%. So I'm just going to text you a bit later with further details and the more specific things. Cool, I'm excited to meet you guys. Thanks, right. Candace. Candace is very high on nutrition and that's really perfect with us because it really aligns with the brand already. So we're so happy that we could track her down and that she was available and really keen to come on board. In terms of production logistically, yeah. you know set life. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for you. Yeah. Three team leader. 100%. I'm happy with Chase being the team leader. He has the most experience in terms of the actual primary challenge that we have. I'm very happy with this brief. I feel like it was written for me, but we have one hour. That is usually set up time. This is gonna be very difficult. By the end of today, we should have a solid idea of our concept so that tomorrow we can just move forward and exactly. plan everything we need to plan. So we've gotta be like clockwork. Otherwise, okay. we're never gonna pull it off. Oh, it flop. Fucking clear, Pada. Sure, sure. Oh, it flop. Don't double up on stress, triple up on value, <laughs> and save with Celsius Ultra Bonus. That means an extra bonus to call on any network. Extra data, no more SMSs. With the struggle, <laughs> yeah, Celsius Ultra Bonus. A life, a crap. No, my name is Bar. But it's too clear, Pada. Get on Celsius prepaid and triple your recharge every time. Celsius, connect your way. In Cape Town, the contestants gather to be briefed by the judges on their new challenge. It's amazing being a part of the top 11. Very excited for the new challenge. I can't wait to hear what the brief is. One week has gone by and I'm still in and I'm ready for the next challenge. Now it's time to put my big girl pants on. I'm pleased with the fact that I survived elimination last week and I'm happy with the fact that the judges have given me another chance so I'm hoping to prove them right. Hello, contestants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to get back to business. Mm, it's going to be good. Each week, you've been given tasks in order to test you, but also in order to educate you. So I hope you're taking all that knowledge, because who knows which company is watching who might be interested in you. This week's challenge is one that any aspiring young marketer will need to master, an influencer-led social media campaign. You will have to keep up or you will get kicked out. These challenges are getting tougher and tougher and I love that they're challenging us and stretching us. We're going to split you guys into two teams. We're going to have ladies as the one team and then the gentlemen as the other team. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Really? Boys versus girls? Let's do this. Girl power. But we're only four boys. How is this going to work? Is it going to be seven against four? But it gets interesting. Ladies, my ladies, you guys are going to have to choose someone from your team, not from Johannesburg, to join the gentleman's team. All right, so I want you guys to group up in your two teams. And my girls, you guys are going to have to figure it out. This is really awkward because nobody wants to say, I want to leave, or nobody wants to say, let me stay. Firstly, no one wants to nominate themselves. And I'm not putting my head on the chopping block. Who actually wants to go? Initially, no one minds joining the guys, but now it's becoming a whole thing of everyone wants to go. I say let's juice it out. Vote, guys. Vote. Let's not single anyone out. Let's yeah, just, okay. let's yeah. vote. So we decide to vote someone off our team and everyone writes a name down and we'll see who gets the most votes. I'm definitely voting Zanika, because that girl, mm, too much drama to me. Put it in here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ladies, really? Do you really have to run a ballot for this? Are we on an island? Are there torches about to be put out? What is happening? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. First name. T. 
Tanil. Please, not anyone but Tanil. But I would actually love to work with her. I want that energy. I'm sure we can channel it the right way. Next is Zinika. Hmm, interesting. Mm. And now it's Nash. It's Tanil. Once again, Nash. To Tanil, to Nash. Ah, Zinika. So to Zinika, to Nash, to Tanil. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Zinika. Nika yourself. <laughs> Wow, I don't know what this means. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. The girls don't want to work with me, but I'm okay working with the boys. I'm really okay. Uh-uh, another dragon. Let her, minus one problem, we're good. Oh, that was very interesting. The challenge has not even begun and we already have a tribal council. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time for you guys to get ready because your client is waiting and I must tell you, this client likes to mix things up. And it's going to be interesting this time around because the client is going to choose the winning campaign, not us. The judges don't have a say. The client will be the one literally determining who will be winning and who will be going home. Well, that's how it is in the real world. The client decides. I think it's going to be quite nice because the work will just speak for itself. And that's a nice twist. So good luck, contestants. You are going to need it. I think we're in a good place. We're confident and it's a strong group of people. I'm so, so excited. I feel like this is a whole new adventure on its own. The judges haven't really told us what the challenge is about. We don't know who the client is this week. So I'm hoping it's something interesting, but let's see. I'm excited to get to the client's brief. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do this week. So we walk into a kitchen. Why are we in the kitchen? Welcome guys. Hi. I'm sure you're all wondering what we're doing in the kitchen this morning. I'm Shan Ramon, the Managing Director of Marlboro Brands. Your challenge for this week will be to create an influencer-led social media campaign that brings to life Nutribullet's smart innovation technology. You'll have to do three things. Conceptualize the social media campaign, source and effectively make use of an influencer in the fitness, health and food nutrition sector. You'll be expected to create video and photographic content with the influencer you'll be assigned a professional photographer and graphic designer who will help you put together all these elements. This brief is just so relevant. I'm so glad that we're doing things that are happening in the marketing space. Influencer marketing is huge. So excited to work on this brief. Okay guys, let's get stuck into what the Nutribullet Balance is all about. You need to understand that this is a Bluetooth enabled device that works with your handheld device or tablet, as you can see. Okay, so for this morning, we're going to prepare a ginger pineapple energy blast. So we're starting off with some spinach. Got our quota. Right. Brilliant. As you can see, it advances to the next ingredient and it's asking for half a banana. The blender is really cool. It can connect to your Bluetooth. I've never seen that. It works with your phone. It tracks your nutrition. I'm just all about it. It now shows me how many calories, how much protein, how much fat, fiber. It tracks what we've made today. It'll track what you make for seven days rolling. Can I have a taste of those smoothies? Because they look really yummy. The smart technology is very easy and simple to use. So translating that into videos and stills will be pretty easy. What I would find most challenging is having six creatives trying to create one creative idea bound to be some fires in the kitchen. I'm really hoping that we smash the stereotypes that girls can't work together. So guys, I'm just going to do a little brief overview of the brief cool. and yeah. then I think pick out some keywords for yourself and then let's get chatting. Yeah. Yeah. There are very, very strong personalities within the team and I'm just afraid that there'll be a power struggle that occurs. But imagine that type of concept where everything in your world can be crazy and upside down. Wow. But, but you're, 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 you're balanced. Balance. Balance. The only thing yeah. is balanced. 
I'm a little worried that my team is a bit like, yes ma'am, and not challenging one another's ideas. I think the biggest thing that we're gonna to need to decide is the influencer element. I have an idea, how about Angelique Friedrichs? She has like a huge following, okay. mm -hmm. and she's part of the Nadia Jafta group. So what, when we get her, we get like major influencers as part of her, yeah. because they share her content as well. The first thing we do, we go around the table and people are pointing out names of people they know that they've seen online that are showing this type of lifestyle. And already Angelique Fredericks is someone that everyone is starting to agree that could be a really strong contender. Straight after the brief, I have to dash off, so I can't join the team going back home. Not gonna be long, I'll be back. I'm not back in the house with the boys because I have other things that I need to attend to. So it looks like we're two men down. Which isn't really a problem. I suggest we create a WhatsApp group and then you okay. will just tell everyone so, what's okay. happening on WhatsApp. Where is everyone? We are three people. There's a lot of work to be done. I think that's what's important now is that getting a concept so we can align that influencer mm -hmm to the concept. Mm, so mm. that it actually makes sense even for the mm. influencer. Yes, exactly. Does anyone have an actual influencer in mind? Choosing an influencer is a little stressful because none of us actually have someone initially. So now we're going through social media, we're trying to find out what options we have. We want someone who focuses both on nutrition and fitness, not one more than the other. So we have two options yeah, right so now. Between yeah. Candace and Amy at the moment. But one thing we do have to get today and decide on is, that influencer? is an influencer. So, and a concept to and a concept. narrate okay. to the influencer yes. tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because we're such a big group, I think everyone has different ideas. So I think it's important to just find out what everyone's strengths are and then moving from that. Guys, I think that Sherry could literally I agree. lead us as our project leader. I agree. Yeah. No, I oh, think we're all on thank the same you. page. Yeah. I definitely support Chad Adele as being a leader. That girl is goals. I'm very happy with it and I'm very confident being a leader. My approach to this week is to have a lot of structure but still give each individual space to be creative and be themselves. Okay guys, so what's our game plan in getting our, our influencer? I'm emailing her manager, Brandon. Okay, so if we don't get Angelique, what is our backup plan? Guys, realistically, mm -hmm. this is the end of the day almost and yeah. we yeah. don't have contact with our influencer. What will we do if she doesn't reply to our email? Panicking, 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 the queen panics. Our star influencer is nowhere to be found. So we decided on Candace. Like, We've decided on Candace. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. okay, I got Candace's number. Okay, can okay. you please just awesome. contact her okay. and find out if she's available? Okay, let's give her a call. Hello, Candace. Candace is our first choice. We contact her, she's on board. This was smooth. Okay, 100%. So I'm just going to text you a bit later with further details and the more specific things. Cool, I'm excited to meet you guys. Thanks, right. Candace. Thank Candace is very high on nutrition, and that's really perfect with us because it really aligns with the brand already. So we're so happy that we could track her down and that she was available and really keen to come on board. In terms of production, logistically, yeah. you know set life. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for you. Yeah. Be team leader. 100%. I'm happy with Chase being the team leader. He has the most experience in terms of the actual primary challenge that we have. I'm very happy with this brief. I feel like it was written for me, but we have one hour. That is usually set up time. This is gonna be very difficult. By the end of today, we should have a solid idea of our concept so that tomorrow we can just move forward and okay. plan everything we need to plan. So we've gotta be like clockwork. Otherwise, okay. we're never gonna pull it off. Oh, flop. Fucking clear, brother. Sure, sure. Oh, flop. Fucking clear, brother. Sure, sure. Oh, flop. Don't double up on stress, triple up on value, and save with Celsius Ultra Bonus. That means an extra bonus to call on any network. Extra data? No more SMSs. With the struggle, <laughs> yeah, Celsius Ultra Bonus. A life, a crap. Yo, my name is Bart. Fuck it to clear, brother. Get on Celsius prepaid and triple your recharge every time. Celsius, connect your way. So we wake up this morning to a message from Angelique confirming that she's going to work on our campaign. I don't know Angelique Fredericks. Maybe it's because I don't do well in the health and fitness department. Hi guys. <laughs> first things first, 
we need to brief our influencer on our concept and take her through the things that she needs to do. I'm Ganyi, I actually spoke to you uh, over the phone and thank you so much for agreeing to meeting us. This is our project leader. Our project leader. Some people are really fangirling Angelique. Some of us didn't know her before, you know, she was sold to us. Sharadell is just like in heaven right now meeting Angelique. We love your brand. We love what you portray on Instagram with the health, with the lifestyle, with the fitness. Angelique's fans are so starstruck. I'm like, guys, this is work. Can we get a solid sentence out and ask her the relevant questions? Because we shoot tomorrow for one hour. The idea for us is to show that a woman has so many things she needs to balance. Okay. So life essentially becomes a balancing act for her. Women are being told that they can't do a lot. And we really wanted to play on that because obviously we're a girls team and we really wanted to bring that message across that even though you are juggling so much, you can still be influential. I normally work with brands that I only believe in. So if I wouldn't use it, I wouldn't promote well, it. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't work with you. I think we got the most important things out with Angelique. I'm explaining to her what we're trying to do. So we're getting a little bit of a bond going. I think I'll just email her the rest of the instructions because right now we are really pressed for time. We have to go buy props. We have to go set up and figure out what set we're going to use. Bye. Bye. Namaste. Namaste. I'm so happy to see a FIBA and that he can actually join us now. There's four people now, that's great. Paul is only coming back later on today, but we're gonna fill him in and he's been communicating with us, so everything seems to be on track. Today we meet our influencer. She seems really nice over the phone, and I'm quite excited to start talking through our concept with her. What they're currently doing is very fun, bright, and quirky. Yeah. So we wanted to stay true to that. Do you identify yourself in India? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely quirky. I'm not, <laughs> okay. I'm not smooth. I'm not like a model. I'm mm -hmm. very quirky and awesome. that's, that's my authenticity that I bring to my brand. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I could Same. see myself doing that just as myself. Mm -hmm. okay. Candice is perfect. She aligns so well with the brand. She's fun, she's quirky, and she's all about nutrition. Well, not to toot my own horn, but I think it's a good match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. At this point, I think we've well planned for the shoot tomorrow. We only have one hour with Candice, and I think we're ready for that. It's a sleepless night for the contestants, knowing that each team is only being allocated one hour for both the filming and photography of their campaign. It's the day of the shoots. It's game day. Let's go. The reason we're in the Boerka is because it's a very colorful area. And Nutribullet as a brand is a very bright and colorful one. So it aligns perfectly. And we can shoot a lot of colors in a short amount of time. I sent you the movement orders last night as well as the visual guidelines. Mm. So I think we're all on the same page with how things are running today, right? Yeah, 100%. Awesome. So we're going to start by the green wall with the yellow door. Then we're going to hit to the orange house and kind of make our way down. Today I'm on set, joining the team. I'm happy about the location, the influencer they've picked. Mm, everything seems to be aligned. I have all the stuff ready, so imme immediately from here, I'm going to start prepping all the fruit that I need. There's a car about to park in our first location. I've quickly got to stop that from happening. All hell breaks loose. It is the owner of the house. I'm telling him not to park in his own parking space. How are you, Manir? Yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. He's having none of it. He's like, leave, get out, go away. You are not allowed to shoot in front of my beautiful yellow and green door. All the colors there pop. Green, yellow, orange, I'm happy. We move to the orange house. Still good. Cool. Is this your smoothie? Is smoothie? Cool. smoothie? Am I popping it down? Yeah. Yeah. Popping it down, we'll do one shot with like a down. We moved from the first door, which was the bright yellow wall, which could have really worked for some good stills and some good footage. Plan B is the orange house. We get to the orange house, we set up everything, and he has this man. What do you want now? Whoa, 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 the locals. Okay, I understand why the locals are losing it. They've got an art exhibition on their street, and they live here. People just come all across from different parts of the world to take pictures, and they are not being commercialized. You speak to me. Yes. All right? Okay. But you, they didn't speak to him. Oh, I'm sorry. So he doesn't know about it. Yes. You see, there's, okay. there's cons and pros. Yes, no, of course. Well, I apologize, we didn't know. Did you kind of apologize? We, apologize to those people. Sorry, man. 
speak to the guy who's on yeah. the fence. Yeah, sorry, we thought he had spoken to you. Okay, awesome. But you're welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Cool, he's good. Is it good? Yes. Yes, but you see, you understand yeah. my point. No, of course. Good. Finally, some luck. The owner of the house says it's fine for us to shoot. So we carry on and we start our day, finally. So Candice, yeah. we'll get you out of your hoodie and back into your Our hoodie. director Chase seems to be a little frazzled. I don't know if maybe it was because there was drama in the beginning of our shoot. I'm hoping he pulls himself together. He seems a little panicked. Everyone's doing their jobs. We are moving like clockwork, but we need a yoga mat. We look for FIBA. He's nowhere. We can't find him. Yoga mat? Where is our yoga mat? Where is the yoga mat? We are on a very tight schedule. Afiba is there in the corner. I don't know, in his own world again. Is there an Afiba? Afiba! Hello, Afiba, get out of your own world and come be present with us on the shoot. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sorry about all the craziness. It's, um, it's been interesting. Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Now things are going smoothly. We had our contingencies in place and we are on schedule. Things are moving quickly. I think, thank you. Oh, you're gonna try this finish? Jumping from the video to the photography is a bit of a challenge, but we seem to be on top of things at the moment. So our final shot, we're about to wrap things up. This is the last shot we need. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop immediately, please. Okay. And I just hear, Everyone shut everything down, stop filming, and I'm so shook because what? Why? Oh no, if he shuts us down now, we're doomed. It's over. Bank better to live better with Capitech. From what is happening now, I really don't think we're going to make this shoot. Nobody has spoken to anybody of us, so no. up until you guys have spoken to us, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. We can't be shut down. We've shot the first scene. We need to continue, and now this. If we don't do it, we're not going to be able to produce anything for our client. But thank goodness it's Azmi. I know him really well and have worked with him a lot. It took a little bit of charming and negotiation, but he is willing to let us finish our shoot. The day is saved. What do you know, hey? What do you know? This is awesome. Well done, Chase. Yeah, no worries. And we'll sort it out, okay? Yes. Thanks so much, man. Can we proceed, Chase? Yeah, we can proceed. Luckily, I've worked with him a lot. I'm so happy we managed to finish everything in time. We have all the footage that we need. Besides all the drama, we managed to finish everything on time, and I'm quite happy with the output of the pictures and the videos. We just need to put them together and polish them. Yeah. Good to go. With the gents team wrapped back at the house, it's time for the ladies to get their one hour with camera crew and photographer. Will it be enough? We are completely planned. We have everything down to a T. We're just busy doing small final adjustments, arrangements, but I think that we're ready for the day. Talent will be here in less than five minutes. Mm. I don't want to waste her time when she gets here, so I'm gonna mm. go and have a conversation with her. Okay, great. Just let her know what she'll be doing, mm. do a check of wardrobe, yeah. makeup, yeah. and also when she gets onto set, can we just have not a lot of people on set? Yeah. And if you have an issue, um, then we can pull you aside and say, okay, we need to incorporate yeah. this, this yeah. and this, and not speak over each other and have this whole chaos thing. I really hope people stick to their lanes today because if people don't, so much time is going to be wasted and we do not have a lot of time. I'm going to go sit with the talent and once she gets here, just let her know what she's doing. Cool. Okay, okay. Awesome. Finally, our influencer came through fast. That girl definitely pulled a thing or two to get to us. Angelique mentioned that she's never had to speak on camera before. I am trying my best to calm her down. We don't have enough time to do multiple takes. We need a one take wonder here. We need superstar levels. And I'll be coaching you through it because there's no audio there so we can talk to each okay, other. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I am a bit worried. It's easy to conceptualize and visualize something in your mind, but translating it into stills and actual video may look completely different. Kitty is a brilliant director, but who wears our concept in this? I'm not seeing it. So far, so good. We are taking way more shots than I thought we would, but we're trying to get the talent comfortable, and I think things are running quite smoothly. Kitty and Nash are 
obviously doing their best and it's looking great. I'm just hoping that we'll be able to finish on time. Angelique is doing quite well, but now other girls are making her to be uneasy. And three, two, Detected. Thank you. Now track it. Now that's balance. Okay, let's try for another one. Now the other person wants to have her own two cents added. Ladies, I thought that we spoke about this before. Like let Kitty and Nash handle creative. I'm trying to think if it like matters that she's not drinking. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does matter because, because that's a product of the blender. I've been called aside because there are changes that the team would like to make. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because I'm worried about time. We had gone through the concept and I thought that everyone knew exactly what was going to happen. There's so much work that went into creating the storyboard so we maximize on our time. Adding another shot that doesn't even live in the world is going to be so difficult in edit. We have a killer tagline right at the end, money shot. Now that's balance. Now, we she must still drink, put the thing screw on. There's so much, she's nervous already. I, had, I needed to hear this before I put the talent on the set. Okay, listen, there are strong views about the drinking. Yes, we shouldn't the drinking. Yeah, we shouldn't the drinking. Drink. Choose the refrain. Personally, I don't think that this is a vital element. I don't think it's that important, but it seems people have very strong feelings about this. So let's just do it. We are going shooting quickly. Cut it. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to step back as much as possible here because there's a lot of people giving a lot of input. Tanil is taking over the creative. I think the best way to do this is to let Tanil run with her creative ideas. <laughs> We are approaching our photographic shoot with a minimalist mindset. The cleaner, the simpler, the better. That green looks so pretty. Why would you throw out a smoothie if we have to use it again? Now I have to make up a smoothie with food coloring and yogurt. Now it looks like alien juice. What on earth is happening to this juice? It looks Lumo green. There is no way that this looks realistic. Let's hope that we'll be able to fix this post-production. As part of the challenge, we've been assigned a designer and he's got the CI, he's got the fonts, the brand ID. I'm happy about that. With our concept, we wanted to go with very colorful, bright, but also quirky and fun yeah. and very simplistic. Do you think that aligns very well with the brand, with the current imagery that they're doing? Definitely, I think, I think that's a great approach. The simpler, the better. Mm -hmm. And it's easily understandable and visually like arresting. That's yeah. perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah. Going into the pitch tomorrow versus last week, I'm looking really, really good. I like my contribution to this week's challenge. I loved my team, the energy, and most importantly, the product is amazing. We've nailed this challenge. What mm. is your concept? With time not really being on our side, I'm a bit worried that our graphic designer isn't exactly envisioning what we're seeing for, for these stalls. But looking at what we had in mind and what the current brand CI is, I can see that our concept might be a bit complicated for that. So this last pose that she's doing, oh, yes, 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 yes. we want to have an image of just chaos behind her. I'm really, really worried. If a graphic designer can't conceptualize your idea, that is alarm bells, seriously, alarm bells. Don't double up on stress, triple up on value, and save with Cell C Ultra Bonus. Cell C, connect your way. I am so nervous. Nervous is an understatement. I couldn't even sleep last night. I'm like a duck. You see the poised zen on top of the water? Underneath it's... <laughs> My heart is pumping. I'm like, yo! <sighs> I'm going to judge. Welcome, contestants, to the boardroom. Are you feeling good? Yes. yes. Thank you. All right, let's begin. Ladies, you'll start. I'm a little stressed that I have to go after the ladies because particularly today, I'm actually presenting. So I wanted to psych myself up and actually get it over and done with and then set the tone. Usually I want to go first, but this time around, 
I'd like to see how they walk out from their pitch. I definitely think we're going to be facing elimination. <sighs> Not that I don't have confidence in my team, but I feel like something was lacking. Beyonce once said, and I quote, who run the world? Girls. Hey. <laughs> oh yes, well we're hoping to keep the same energy. Let's go. I'm very excited to be the first to pitch. I know my pitching ability is very, very good. I'm confident in our product. We are going to set the bar very high. Moving over to creative. Thank you. Track it. Now that's balance. I'm so proud of this presentation and just seeing it come to life is just so incredible. And Sheridan is killing it. I think I made the best choice. Making sure that Sherry, yes, Lieutenant Sherry, becomes the project leader and she led a perfect example. We believe that our team clearly translated the tonality of the brand. Thank you for this opportunity. It was a great, great task. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like how you've translated key elements of the brief in your presentation. I like that you demonstrated the technology aspect and you taught me something when I was watching the video. So congratulations, I think that that was very well done. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you very much. We believed every word, I mean I believe whatever you were right. saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done on that, um, it, it was cohesive, it was clear um, and, and I really do appreciate um, a simple approach to answering a brief. Oh, the judges are giving me a big head right now, <laughs> right now I feel like I'm walking on clouds. It feels so good. It's always so nice to know that what you worked so hard for, someone else receives positively. Oh, there's nothing better than Odette telling you you've done something. Well, I am super happy. Sylvester's just giving us great points. Nandi is smiling. There's a little bit of relaxation that's kicking in, but I mean, we wait and see. I think you guys have done an excellent job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Look how far you guys have come. Yeah. There's a vast difference, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this pitch, incredible. Good feedback from the judges. I'm like, yes. I like to play the role of the consumer, mm. you know, the end goal. Yeah. And for me, from an aesthetic perspective, it's eye catching, I get excited, the colors pop, and I'm so, so proud. This was bound to happen some way or another. First the good news, then the bad news. So as usual in this business, we always can improve. You know, there were parts where I thought could have been much more emphasized. What differentiates this blender from any other blender is the smart technology. And I think that a little bit of additional attention and communication around the features and the benefits of the product would have given the consumer a wow factor in terms of, I absolutely need to get this particular product. And in the meantime, have a think about who, if you were asked, you would ask to leave this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the ladies team, Team Athena, our job is done. Let's see what the boys have. The ladies are walking out and they are confident and smiling. Now I'm scared. Welcome, lady and gents. We can't wait to hear what you have to say. <laughs> An influencer-driven campaign is one of the biggest tools that brands use, sorry, that businesses use to push their brands online. Pitching in front of the judges is nerve-wracking. You may think that you're confident, you're articulate, you have a personality, and then you have these three people in front of you who are absolutely amazing in their different fields, and then you start to second-guess yourself even in what you're saying. And our immediate rationale went to balance. Balancing lifestyle, balancing nutrition. Over to you. So our social media engagement. And this will run on both the NutriBullet Balance social platforms as well as the influencers' social platforms. 
On posts, that, on other posts, we, we, we want people to share a narrative. So it's really nerve-wracking pitching in front of the judges because I know my stuff, so why am I doubting myself? I want to get water and give it to Pia with this point and say, can you have some drink and breathe a bit? He seems a bit more nervous and he's stuttering a bit. I'm hoping that he's going to get his rhythm and really quickly. This adding the logo to link the message to the brand and the buy now and the buy now logo to add the, the curb, to add the, to add the commercial element to it. My mouth is dry. I need to keep going. I keep telling myself, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yesterday, we went over the presentation five, six times trying to prep him and today, he is really nervous. He's a nervous wreck today. I was a little underwhelmed. You know, I'll also be very frank with you guys, slightly disappointed, and I'll tell you why. You know, last week we were happy, le happy, you know, and in that zone, and I was excited because I love playing the role of a consumer. Mm. And I just want to get excited, you know. Um, there's new technology involved, there's this and that, so it didn't pop for me. The judges are not smiling this time around. I mean, with our last presentation, they were happy. I walked out there feeling strong. This time, uh, not a lot is happening with their faces. Oh, I'm sensing trouble. Oh, I'm busy looking at the judges' faces, and it doesn't seem to be going well. I can see there's not as many smiles as I thought there would be. There's just something wrong, very wrong. You'll recall when you were briefed that we said the client will ultimately influence the outcome of this task. Well tried and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's still a bit of hope. The client has to decide and we really stuck to their brand tonality. So I'm hoping that carries us through. So the client actually had some good things to say about mm. both teams. Um, they were very happy and impressed by just the articulation of the, of the brief and the mm. challenge, but there were clear, clear wins. And I think on both of them, the area of technology mm. um, seems to be uh, a Lucky challenge. for them, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think we are aligned. I think that um, I get where the client is coming from, on the good and the bad. And I think it's time to call them in. Let's call them in. Bank better to live better with Capitech.